Welcome to the live stream today. I'm talking about Restream with Loopback and being able to share your screen and share your audio. Now, I do this every week uh, because I do mixed critiques or because I do trainings online, but I know that it is extremely difficult. So uh, I was sitting down to do a mixed critique today and I realized my uh, audio was all messed up. So it took me like 45 minutes to do this. And, I, and so I made a diagram and I saved my settings. And I'm gonna share that with you guys if you're wanting to do this. I'm using Restream, I'm using a Mac, I'm using a Mackie Pro FX 10 version three mixer. And if you, let me, let me show you that mixer uh, so you can see it. It's sitting right here. So I'm using like a regular microphone and then I think I can, let me see if I can do this without getting totally messed up. Mackie FX, uh, yeah, that's the Mackie. The Mackie FX, uh, whatever you want to call that, FX version 3, any anything. But it's a USB uh, interface, okay? But you do not have to use a USB interface. Now I'm all crooked. Now see what I did? I moved my camera and I'm all crooked. You don't have to use a USB interface. In fact, with this Mackie, I've been, I've been using the USB interface section of this, and it gets kind of messy. So for recording stuff, yeah, you can, you can tap into the USB function. But what I want to do is I want to be able to mix live and hear what I'm mixing while I'm talking to the camera. And so to do that, it takes a lot more, I can reach over here and I can turn down my voice, up my voice, and I can turn on the music, and I can turn off the music, I can mix down. If you don't do it the way I'm gonna show you here, it's very hard to control it, it's hard to uh, monitor the output. Okay, so what I can do, uh, with this method is I can just throw my screen up, I can go into my mix, uh, to my band, and I can play this band right here. Then I can turn down the volume of this band and I can talk to you and I can hear myself, I can hear the mix, I can hear myself. This is the setup that you really wanna do if you wanna do tutorials or if you just want to uh, critique your band mix for your team or you know for whatever you, you can do a million different things for this this is not just for me uh, for the worship genre so let's um, I'm gonna show you the setup so first of all I have the microphone running in and I'll show you the little thing here so first I have my, my, my uh, Mac here running restream then uh, and that's a whole nother I have a bunch of videos on restream um, then I have my FX mixer, so so I, I'll just call it my mixer. Okay, this is my mixer, USB mixer, which it does not have to be a USB mixer because I'm not using that function in this setup. I've got my mic running into the mixer. I have my Mac headphone out running into the mix, right out of my Mac into the mixer. Then to get back into Restream, which I didn't put this on the uh, thing. So when I go out of Restream, let's say I'm going to go out of Restream over, over to here, see if I can make this line. Let's say I'm going to go out of Restream into there. I'm using loopback, okay? Uh, so my computer is set like this, and this is kind of the, the trick of it. You have to set your computer for the output to be headphones, because you're sending out anything you hear on your computer. If you play something on your computer, it's gonna go out of the headphone jack into your mixer, and that's kind of the key. Um, and the device for Pro FX, so that is, and so technically I am using the USB function, Pro FX input, so, um, that's what you do there, okay? So you can just look at that. So I have the USB mixer. It is doing USB function because I'm using it to go back into my computer, okay? Which is basically, and I should probably put this like this, meow, bonk, into computer, yeah. In USB to Mac. Okay, so I'm going, so I'm going, I'm going, out of my headphones into the mixer, out of the mixer USB, back to the Mac, okay? So the, the, um, the engine that I'm using, Loopback, now this is a plugin and it is, uh, like $85. If you don't have this plugin, I find it extremely hard to do what I'm doing without this plugin. This plugin is brilliant. So let me pull it up on the screen here. Basically, you can start uh, scenes, and this is my this is my stream for recording uh, for when I'm using Logic. So I've got a little different setup, but this is my restream loop setup. So basically, what it says is my sources are the Pro FX, and my output channels are one and two, and then my monitor, how I'm listening is the Pro FX. If you don't do this, then you get a lot of slap back on your vocals. So you get the, you get that, um, you, you hear yourself talking and talking again. So it's like an echo. And so this is how I've got it routed and it works brilliantly here. So I'm, I've got the source of, um, 
audio, the source of audio is, is ProFX, and then it's going to output one and two. So that's all it is. And I'm monitoring here on my ProFX. Now, if I wanted to monitor on my output device, I can do that, I can do, do that, but it causes different things. So you can, I'm actually monitoring the whole thing through the ProFX, so I can hear my voice, I can hear exactly what I'm mixing, so I'm, my monitor is my, is my mixing console, my headphones are plugged into the mixing console, my headphones on my computer are sending out the signal, so there. So um, the sources are the ProFX, that's what you're getting, it's going to the output channel, and it's going to the monitor. Now in my settings on my computer, uh, I'm basically saying my output device is headphones, and my input device is ProFX. Now I mirror that same setting inside of Restream. So when you go into Restream, and I can, um, I'm not gonna pull Restream there. If you go into Restream, maybe I can just zoom in on this for you. If you go into Restream, then you do the same thing. Your input device is your, is your camera, your high definition video resolution, and I'm gonna get to, I'm gonna give you guys one trick, so stick with me. ProFX is your input, your headphones are out. So that, that's monitoring, that's the same thing, okay? So it's the same thing everywhere. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Now, I'm gonna show you an example of some audio that I did, and I'm gonna open up some settings on Restream and show you. you absolutely have to do a few things. If you want your audio to sound really uh, bad, then skip this part, okay? I did this, I skipped this part in my test. This was one of my tests, and I want you to listen, and it's basically noise suppression, echo cancellation, all of these little things that the Mac and Restream will add to your thing. So if you want echo cancellation, that's fine, but it does not do for high quality audio. So this is what happens if you leave echo cancellation on and if you leave um, noise suppression. Noise suppression is is an audio killer, so you wanna turn that off. If you want a really clear sound, you gotta turn noise suppression off. Hey, and if you guys have any questions before I go into this next session, you can leave a chat right here and you can also subscribe to the YouTube channel on uh, Worship the King Music. Go ahead and subscribe there. There are links in the bottom of this video that show you every, uh, you know, like links to my, um, what are they called? Charts, all of these charts. I don't have this one published yet. It's brand new. I just made it. But I, I will publish it um, if you guys want to. If you uh, message me, let me know. Here's what happens if you do this without, with with noise suppression on. Listen what happens. Workers are all few. right, so I'm testing Therefore, out. This is um, to the Lord of the harvest to this is send how it is. I'm testing this today. I'm watching the we live stream. Family. You are sent. We'll see you next week. I don't know what they did there. So I can uh, talk over the live stream. I can actually turn up the live stream. And then I can talk over the live stream, turn it down a little bit. It looks... Okay, so you hear what's happening there is it sounds like junk, basically. You hear my voice is like... Wobble, wobble, wobble. That is noise suppression. The Mac does noise suppression. Also, the, um, the computer does noise suppression. You just have to find noise suppression and turn it off. You have to turn off echo cancellation and turn off noise suppression. So in Restream, we can go over here, and it's going to look a little funny in this screen, but you can actually click on this button right here, go into Advanced Settings, and when you go into Advanced Settings, you see I've turned off echo cancellation, I've turned off noise suppression, uh, stereo audio input, I don't enable stereo audio on supported. Okay, I'm not gonna do that. And I've clicked on high resolution audio. Increases capture and output of audio bitrate to 256, suitable for streaming high quality audio performances. So you have to pay attention to the advanced settings in Restream. Even when you're uh, streaming for your church or whatever you're doing, you wanna pay attention to the live stream settings in there. Um, okay, so that that's really what I have today. This. This allows me to go over to YouTube, do anything you want, whether you're podcasting, whether you, you want to share your audio of your screen. And for me, I want it to be super high, clear audio because I'm talking about our band. I'm talking about the sound quality of our band, the mix quality of our band. So I have to have the high quality audio. I have to have the noise suppression off. I have to be able to monitor my vocal my studio vocal, my podcast vocal, and the band. So here's a little clip of that, what this would do if you set this all up. And uh, here's loop back. And then here is the final uh, version of how I'm doing that on my computer. And one last tip, I'll show you this last tip here. When you, when you go to Restream and you get ready to set Restream up, if you wanna test in Restream, you can test by turning all of your settings off. So 
uh, you basically just tell it, you go to edit, and I'm not going to do this because I don't know what it would do to my live stream, but you go to edit and you turn off all your channels. So I have like 15 channels because I have like a super pro account on Restream. Um, I got it when they were running a 50% deal, which is which is a killer way to get it. You wait till they run like a end of the year sale and then sign up for the biggest plan. I can run like 20 platforms at once for like half price. So thank you, Restream. Anyway, I turn off, and what you do to do the test is you turn off all of your channels, hit record on Restream, and it's, or hit go live, and you're going live to nothing, but you're recording. So it records to the cloud, and then you can pop open the recording and listen to it. And that's what I did my test on and realized noise suppression is on, and it sounds like junk. You don't want to wait till somebody tells you, why do you sound funny on the internet? And then you go fix your, your thing. So here we go. Here's what I can do. I can play my band, and I, and I, uh, and I can critique the sound. There's joy in the house of the Lord today, and we won't be quiet. We shout out your praise. There's joy in the house of the Lord. There's joy in the in this place, and we won't be quiet. We shout out your praise. And you see, I can turn the band down. I can talk. I can make my notes. I can do my training idea or I can just sit here and be like dude that was awesome that was so fun this was my birthday August 22nd 10 30 a.m. you can find the link to this in the description of the video and you can listen to our band we have been adding a lot of stuff to our stage we added some new mics we added tracks so we'll listen out and we were the prisoners and now we're running free we are forgiven Accepted and seen by his grace. Let the house of the Lord sing praise. There's joy in the house of the Lord. There's joy in the house of the Lord today. And we won't be silent. We're gonna shout Okay, so that's it. That's how I can uh, show my screen. That's how I can change the audio. That's how I can um, do all kinds of training, mixed training. If you, you guys have probably seen, also you've probably seen my logic training. So anything you want to do with this, you, you, you have to be able to control your audio. And that's how you do it. So if you guys have any questions, leave it in the comment uh, and I will answer the chat someday. Uh, sometimes I get uh, confused and I don't answer my YouTube chats. But just uh, you can chat me. You can go to worshipthking.com. Worship Band Builder, the links are in the description. You can contact me right there. Uh, some of this stuff's a little more like uh, complicated and, and confusing, uh, but that's what that's what I got to do. So mostly my whole morning was spent just trying to figure this out because every time I change my setup or go to record, I keep changing my setup, and then it just gets real hairy. So I have the diagram now. I won't forget how the settings are, and there you guys can have it too. Um, there it is right there on my screen. That's the diagram. Maybe take a screenshot of that right now. And I'll see you on the next video.